Hi guys, how are you doing? So I'm slurping my coffee. Ah. Ah, and relax. So I don't have a huge amount of time today. So I thought I'd show you a really quick and simple red lip because I don't think I've done a red lip for quite a while, either like on my Instagram or on my YouTube. And I remembered I have a red lip that I was gifted from Ciate that got me really excited and I haven't played with it yet. So let me do that today, why not? Um, I'm gonna keep my makeup really simple. I've done some um, primers and stuff already because I've been out of the shower for a while, but I'm gonna use some of the super healthy um, anti-aging cream by Beauty Pie. Um, I actually really like it as a really light daytime cream. I won't use much. Um, it just doesn't feel like it's too heavy on my skin, which I love. And at the moment, I'm winning with my skin by layering lots of really light layers of hydration. Um, just because I do suffer from a little bit of kind of everyday dehydration, more than anything I'd say. For my base, I'm going to use, I haven't used this in ages, this is my trusty Studio Fix powder. Now I used to, I never use the sponge by the way, it comes with a sponge, I always use a brush. Um, this powder I used to use quite a lot as kind of a younger woman when I was first getting into makeup. I'm just applying it with a Real Techniques uh, blush brush. <laughs> I hope Sam and Nick won't mind me using it for um, foundation powder. But I used to love it as a really quick solution to my everyday makeup. And weirdly enough, because I used to suffer with quite a lot of surface um, dry skin, I sometimes found that liquid foundations would highlight kind of the dry flakiness of my skin. That was before I knew properly kind of how to look after or treat that skin. And um, as, as kind of counterintuitive as it sounds, actually I found that kind of powdered foundations were better at hiding the evidence of that dry skin. I actually turned to this technique <laughs> a couple of weeks ago, I don't know if you guys remember, but I. I got a bit um, overzealous, shall I say, with my retinol application and um, burnt my skin a little. And this is the shade NW22, although when I was in, I was at a MAC recently in Harvey Nichols, and I said, oh yeah, I'm NW22, NW25 in the summer, and the, the girl was like, no you're not, you're like an NC something, and I was like, oh, weird, I've used NW for as long as I can remember. Okay, moving on, just a little bit. I need to get another one of these actually. I used it yesterday and it's getting a bit low. This is the Bobbi Brown um, Instant Full Cover Concealer. I just want a little bit of that under my eyes. When you're doing a red lip, it's nice to have, you know, a good clean base to work from. The kind of the key thing is that you want to neutralize any redness or high color in the skin. Dun, dun, dun. Um, if there is any other reddish tone, it kind of steals the focus slightly. So just try and ensure if you want to make a statement with a red lip, you just conceal any other high colour. Now I'm going to warm my base with a bit of bronzer. This is the Bobbi Brown Cosmetics Stone Street. Bronzer, again with the same brush. This is a quick and easy makeup look. I'm just gonna warm kind of the top and back of my cheeks. And then of course, a bit over my nose. And over the top of my, everyone say with me, forehead. <laughs> oh, everyone in team forehead say hey lovely so just trying to mimic the appearance of my skin when I do have a bit of colour and although I do love pale and interesting skin with a red lip I find that I look best when I'm doing a red lip when I've got a bit of colour to my skin. I can kind of, I can almost hear you all laughing being like yeah right Hannah you just always feel happier when you've got a bit of bronzer on. <laughs> okay a nice neutral cheek this is called Wild Honey 
by Becca and I'm just going to use the tiniest bit This is a lovely brush from Shiseido. I actually used it quite a lot recently for um, creamy products because it's synthetic in fibre. So I do like to use it for blending concealer, blending a bit of bronzing gel. Funny isn't it? I usually go for something much more pinky in colour but again I want to keep it neutral. I'm going for a ready lip. Okay, so I'm going to quickly fill in my brows and I'm going to use, this is the Indian Chocolate Pomade by Blink Brow Bar London. So I just get the tiniest bit onto a brow brush, but then most importantly, I then push the head of the brush into the lid. And as you can see, it kind of removes any excess product so when I come to fill in my brows I don't have too much loaded onto my brush I find it's when you do that that you end up with too heavy a brow look and I'm just going to follow the direction of the growth of the hair and what you'll see is really quickly I'm able to create a nicely defined brow that's well groomed but not too heavy. How quick was that? This is what I'm loving about having had my brows done. I'm able to groom them so quickly and this pomade is so flattering. I tried to explain on Instagram, it's almost like it's the pigments held in a clear base. So unlike some other pigments I've, or pomades I've tried, um, the finish is slightly more sheer, which I think is slightly uh, softer and probably a little bit easier to work with. So when it comes to a bold lip, I really like a very subtle soft eye. Sometimes if you try and do an eye and a lip it can look a bit much. So I'm just going to take a tiny bit of my bronzer on a Shiseido shadow brush and just pop a little bit of that through the crease of my eye just to add a little warmth but to ensure what I have on my lid is matte and actually just super natural and super neutral. It's also handy when you're using the same products for multiple things. I don't know why I'm looking in this compact. I can't see a thing. Hilarious. I'm like, oh yeah, look at me, looking at what I can do. I can't see for toffee. How funny. Pronto through the crease, one of the oldest tricks in the book. And I love it. Now for simple line, I'm just going to use this black casual pencil from Blink Brow Bar London. Um, it's so quick and easy to use. I'm looking down into my mirror and just etching all along the lash line. Not being too fussy or too particular. I don't want to make, I don't want there to be any gaps between my lash line and the skin. I'm just going to pull it out ever so slightly. Just like that. Then with the brush, simply going to go along the edge and buff. So the colour kind of diffuses up my lid for a kind of sultry liner look and nothing too harsh.
Now I don't need to curl my eyelashes because I had my lash lift just over a week ago. So I'm just going to take some of, this is the L'Oreal Paradise Mascara. Ooh. And the same on the other eye. So now my mascara is on. Let's get the. I was gonna say let's get the lip ready. I think I want to do a little bit of highlighter before I do my lip. So this is the Ciate Jessica Rabbit Roger Darling highlighter. In it, pretty. I'm just gonna take a little bit first underneath my brow bone, just to add the softest of shimmers. said brow bone I do love a gently highlighted brow especially when the rest of the eye is matte it just helps the light to linger and then just a little over the top of my cheeks not too much I don't want to suddenly look super metallic. This is just a daytime red lip, but just a hint of highlight. It's pretty. Before I do the red lip, I'm just going to take a tiny bit. This is the Bare Pink treat Lip Treatment. Extra Lip Tint, get it right hand, from Bobbi Brown. And I'm just going to use my finger to apply a little bit. just to hydrate my lips a little before the lipstick application. I just don't want too much. Too much lip balm and you won't get the precision you want with the lipstick. Now we've got to take a minute to look at this. Oh, can you see that? This is the Jessica Rabbit lipstick from the Jessica Rabbit collection from Ciate and it has got glitter running I probe and pray all the way through it so no fancy application technique here I'm just going to go straight from the bullet I like to do my lower lip first look at that Look at that. I need a bit of volume in my hair, don't I? I feel very glamorous. So, not only does that look, like it's quite punchy, isn't it? It's got quite the impact. Um, the texture is super creamy and the glitter is actually quite multi-dimensional. I can see silver, I can see gold, I can see pink. So lots of different tones to that lipstick so it's not just a completely flat red. So there we go, that was my quick and easy, really simple red lip makeup tutorial using the Jessica Rabbit lipstick from the new Ciate collection. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I certainly did. I feel very glam for a rainy Saturday in London. Um, but have a great weekend, guys. I'm going to finish my coffee. <laughs> and I'll see you all soon. Loads of love. I wanted to say, ooh, ooh, be doo, but that's Betty Boo, isn't it? It's not Jessica Rabbit.